all right uh welcome back mendota ranch um so what where we're at now if you remember watching the video before we bred all these mare collected that stud for the first time and so uh this mare here is ruby at the time she had a big old follicle on her and we bred her that day and she's the clone of playboy's ruby and so we've already checked her in fall once so she we checked her she was uh, 12 days in fall and so this is kind of the second check here and what we're hoping for now is to see a heartbeat on the fetus, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, mama. Uh oh, <clears throat> this isn't looking good. Okay, so we need to keep her up. She, she lost it. So... So yeah, she can go. Yeah, just keep her up. So here's what happened here. We bred her and um, we checked her in foal that she's like 12 days um, in foal. And then, so then we come back hoping to see a heartbeat. And for whatever reason, she kicked that embryo out. So we, hopefully she'll cycle back and we'll uh, we'll breed her again. But see, that's, that's the reason we do this is because at that, that, when that fetus is going through the stage, like at day 18, uh, 16, 18, that's usually uh, that's usually when you you lose them. So that's why we don't ever send uh, customers' mares home until we see a, a fetus with a heartbeat. We're freaking. She's a pusher. All right. So this mare here, this is a this mare here. Her problem is is she's not cycling. I mean, you know, I told you on that last video how you just can't make them cycle. And so all we do with this mare is we just check her. And I mean, it's, it's June. She better get she better get a butt cycling. Sometimes you get these older mares that's never had a foal. They turn into an old barren mare. You just there ain't nothing you can do about it. You know, the only thing that really causes it is just not having a baby. You know, they, they need, a mare needs to have a, she needs to have a baby every once in a while or, or she'll just the system just kind of shuts down and this is kind of where we're at on this mare here she's you know she's just nothing it's like like the lights are off nobody's home that's where like these people bring me these mares that are 10 12 years old she can go home never had a foal so you know when, when they don't when they've never had a foal it's like you know if you don't use it you lose it kind of deal so it's, it's good if you want your mare to you know have you know if you want to make a brood mare out of her she needs to have an offspring she doesn't have to have one every year but she needs one you know, every two or three years we found that back in the day when we were doing all these embryos we were just doing embryo after embryo after embryo these marriages year after year and then after about three or four years the marriage just quit cycling so then we learned that we'd do two to three years of embryos and then we'd let them carry a foal um, and that seemed to kind of give a little life to it so what i was talking about was the we never send mares home and we never turn them out until we have a heartbeat on the fetus because at that 16 to 18 days of that fetus so remember them the mares want to cycle back at that point and sometimes the signals aren't quite right and if the mare cycles back then she's going to kick that fetus out so that's what happened with ruby we had her pregnant and then uh, at some point she dumped it so between between 12 and 30 days she dumped that fetus and so the downside is sometimes if that fetus goes far enough if it goes out to 25 30 days then the mare didn't cycle back till next year so that's that's the biggest fear right now and so we'll uh we have to monitor ruby really close and then hopefully she'll be right back in the heat and we'll catch her again that's the struggles with breeding mares what do you do we liked it we want them to get them bred you know, like say eight, april may first part of june um you start getting late in the Ju later in Ju june and july then we're like we're out now what we can do and what we have done is if we start getting late in a year and we're really a valuable mare then we'll start pulling them we'll continue to flush them and we'll pull the embryos out and then we'll freeze the embryos and we'll hold them over till february and then and then at that point we'll uh we'll transfer all those embryos that that year 
So this mare is same deal. Uh, we've already checked her in foal once. So we're hoping she's uh, she's good to turn out now. The other mares that we checked that day, we're all shipped in semen. They're, they look good. We checked all them. They're all good. Yeah, so you remember the stud. First time of the year we collected. And we've collected him several times since then. And his semen, just like I said, his semen got way better. And his collections got way better. So he, we can go in there now, one mount. We pretty much got him collected now. So it's, it's not much work anymore. Now that everything's bred. All right, so, so, say, so right here is the, this is the umbilical cord, and this is the fetus. If you look right there, you can see the heart beating. It's just a little mare. Stand still. See it just going in a circle right there, right in the middle of the body. Mare, good little. So we got a good heartbeat. All right. All right, so as you can see, we got a good heartbeat. Okay, she can go home. So the, the good thing about that is, is we're done. So, you know, even if she were to, to kick that off, that uh, fetus out at this point, she's not gonna cycle back this year. So either way, we're done. So now it's uh, up to her to carry it the rest of the way. Yeah, so uh, so in the, in the last video, we bred five, five to the stud here and two shipped in semen. All of them but one took. Clay was, she didn't take, so we've already bred her back. And then Ruby was pregnant and then she lost uh, that pregnancy. So uh, we're starting over with the Ruby. So everything else we've checked is pregnant and turned out. Um, oh, we got one more to check that we, we got one more the day 15, 14 to check that we haven't checked yet. We got one more. All right, so here's the story on this mare here. This mare is, um, we bred her, so this will be her first uh, breed check. She should be 14 days out right now. She's out of the clone of Remnick. And, about, and speaking of cloning, I'm gonna do, I've got a bunch of comments, people want to see more cloning, at least a little bit more. I'm gonna make a little short video, kind of the equipment I use and kind of how, how, how we do it. It's kind of hard to, I don't know, I'm struggling with how I'm going to do the video, but that, I'm going to do you a video. It's coming real soon. we got some video of, of us actually uh, removing the DNA and, and then reconstructing the, the uh, zoocyte. But anyways, we'll see what we can get done. All right, so this mare here, this, this is her first breed check. This is, uh, this, one, this is one that we bred to uh, my stud. Yeah, she's big time pregnant. There you go. So that's about a... 14, 15 day pregnancy right there. So let's make sure there's just one, go up both horns here. And yeah, she just got one there. So at this point, you're not able to see the fetus in there. So this is our first check. So essentially, so it's like this is uterus right here. And you got the top side and the bottom side and you got the middle layer of the uterus. And then right here is the pregnancy that, so that would be the fetus or the embryo. You know, it's more, I'd call it more of a fetus now. So this is the amniotic fluid, and it's attached to the uterine wall now at this point. And so essentially at this point, there's, you know, like I said, this is kind of their 14, 15 stage. If they're gonna dump, most of the time, they're gonna dump in the next two or three days. This, this, this looks really healthy. It doesn't look abnormal. So I'm, I'm, I assume that she's probably gonna go on and carry this one just fine. And so now, now the plan is, so she's at 14, 15 days today. We'll give her two weeks and then we'll check her back and we'll be looking for the heartbeat on that fetus. And then from that point, it's like, turn them out, let them go. All right, she's done, yep. So that's kind of the follow up to Mara deal. Thanks for um, all the comments on the Mara deal. I know I got a bunch of comments and everybody wants to see more Mara's and I'm gonna work on my cloning video. And thanks for subscribing and thanks uh, for following me on Instagram. Okay, see you.